Hi, it is Future Editing Amanda. I have just finished editing this and I wanted to pop in and say real quick that for some reason I noticed that my voice sounded dead inside during this video and that is because I have tried filming this video multiple times and I just kept rambling and it was getting too long. So I wanted to film this one last time and just get it over with and I think that's why I sounded like kind of dead and annoyed. So yeah, sorry about that but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and I post mostly lifestyle content. So in today's video, I'm showing you what is on my iPhone. As you can tell, I've done three of these videos before. This is my fourth one and the first time that I have a different phone. So I upgraded, as you can probably tell, to the iPhone 11. Not the Pro, not the Pro Max, just the basic 11 because I had to buy it with my own money and I'm kind of broke. But anyway, I just have a normal black case on it. I got it in the purple color, as you can kind of see. Hi, welcome to my phone. So when you unlock my phone, I still have the same pink moon and space background that I did the last time I filmed this video because I still think it's aesthetic and cute. When you unlock it, you will see that my background is also the same. It is the moon with the you are safe here message because I think it's a wholesome, cute message and I like to see it when I open my phone and know that I'm safe. So the first page is where all of my basic apps are. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but I will say that I replaced my weather app with this app called Weather Kitty where it's basically the same thing, but you get pictures of kittens based on what the weather is. So right now it's clear, so I have this kitten. If it's raining, you'll get a kitten with rain, stuff like that. I think it's really cute. And that's pretty much it. All the other apps are just basic apps. For the four apps on the bottom of the screen, I have Safari. <laughs> I just looked up how to screen record with audio and just random recipes and stuff. I use it for the internet. I have the Gmail app for my personal and school emails. I have the calendar app where I often will put in what classes I have for the week and things like that. I have Spotify, which I use a lot. If you want to follow me on Spotify, my profile is this. My username is Amanda M. Conover, and I do listen to some good stuff, so yeah. On the next page, I have eight folders, which I organize everything into. I think it looks better this way, and it matches the two rows on the first page. So the first folder we have is social, where all of my social media accounts are. The first two apps on here are unfollowers, so I can track unfollowers for Twitter and then unfollowers for Instagram. And then we have TikTok, which I love. It is so addicting. Uh, my profile is Amanda Conover. Somehow someone did not take this username because I took it on all other social medias. But yeah, if you want to follow me, that's my username. And then I have YouTube, which you probably know because you're probably watching this on the YouTube app if you're watching this video from your phone right now. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Then I have Twitter, which I don't use as often as I used to, but it is still good to, you know, stay updated with things. I usually use it for news and activist related stuff. My username is Amanda M. Conover if you want to follow me. I have Reddit, which I only use to stay in touch with other vegans. I think there's a good vegan community on r slash vegan. And I just like looking at these, like look how cool this looks. And then Instagram, one of my favorite social medias of all time. My username is Amanda M. Conover, and I post a lot of cool pictures. This is what my feed looks like. Unum is an app I use to plan Instagram posts. So basically, you can rearrange photos and see what would look best with your feed at the moment. So just doing stuff like this and seeing what to post next. So I use that a lot. Facebook, I don't really use a lot. I only use it because I'm in certain groups that only have Facebook. That's all for that folder. And then moving on to my editing folder. I have eight apps in here. The first one is one that I've talked about in the past a lot. As you can tell, I've used it for edits. I can't, I can't. But yeah, I use this app for edits and stuff randomly whenever I feel like it. It's basically like a mini Photoshop and it's really, really cool. Then I have Fonto, which I use for adding text to my YouTube thumbnails. I pretty much make all of my thumbnails on here. Basically, I have this picture that is this thumbnail size and I'll go in, add whatever image I want for the thumbnail and then I'll add some text. PixArt is another app that I use to edit thumbnails. Really, I just like it for its stickers tool. There's a lot of different effects and cool things that you can make. Photo Eraser is an app where you can erase certain elements of the background. I don't know if I have anything to show this. If you wanna remove one little thing from the background, it's a good app to use. 
Next, I have Facetune 2, which is the free version of Facetune. I don't really use it a lot. The last time I used it was on my graduation photo, but it's good for whitening teeth and smoothing skin. I would not use it too much because it is bad to present yourself as something you're not. Then I have Lightroom. This is the app I use for filters. Now that I don't have Visco anymore because I don't know what happened to that app. It got weird, but I have all these presets on here that I named after fruits. I like to go through them and see what works best for what pictures and then i have super photo i don't really use this a lot so i just have it in case i want to do something cool because there's a lot of cool effects on here unfold is an app that i use to make my instagram stories sometimes when i want to be fancy you can use a bunch of different formats and stuff and like go through and create basically like pictures and text for insta stories that look a little bit fancier next is remotes i'm not going to go into this these are just the remotes i use to control my camera from my phone School slash writing. I am a creative writing major, so these go hand in hand, hence why I put them together. GroupMe is a messaging app that my school uses, so I have it for classes and clubs. Docs, Drive, and Pages are all apps where I can write and edit stuff for school, like documents. When to Work is an app that tells me when I'm working. My job uses it. The New Yorker is a magazine that I am subscribed to, so this is the app that I use to get the digital issue, even though I do get the print issue as well. Poetizer is an app that I haven't really used a lot, but I am super excited about it. I recently found it and it's basically like social media for poets. So a bunch of poets just post their poems on here. I think it's so cool. Poetry Magazine, I'm not subscribed to this magazine, but I like reading some of the free poems that they put on here. The next folder is games. I have Pokemon Go, which I still do not use consistently, but I still have it because I like to check up on my Pokemon every once in a while. Then I have Crossword, which I use on the plane to England. It's just a bunch of crossword puzzles. CoStar is an astrology app where you enter the time of your birth and the day that you were born and everything, and it gives you personalized updates which I like to look at and not take too seriously, but it's also kind of cool just to see what it has to say. Flick is an app that lets you swipe to either delete or save pictures in your camera roll. I use it because I have a hard time deleting certain pictures. If I'm swiping through, I can see what pictures I really don't need anymore. Hinge is a dating app that's a little bit more fancy. I don't really use it that often, but sometimes I just get bored, you know what I'm saying? Health slash food. The first app in this folder is Yelp, which I use to look up local restaurants in the area. 1-800-CONTACTS, where I don't even order my contacts. I use this for the lens gauge to see when I need to change my my contact lenses sleep cycle is an app that is basically an alarm clock but it wakes you up within a 30 minute time window when you're sleeping the lightest not sure how it knows to be honest walmart i use this because i like to buy my groceries at walmart and i like to open up the app in the store and find out what aisle certain items are on fitbit i use to track my steps now that we are in quarantine and it's i just woke up earlier so i have like no steps today it's also good for tracking your period your sleep cycle like tons of different things so i love my fitbit chronometer is basically this is a little scandalous i used to have an eating disorder so i'm not really supposed to track foods but because i am vegan every once in a while like maybe once every couple months i'll go in and just make sure i'm getting the right nutrients and i'm not missing anything v nutrition is a nutrition app specifically for vegans i have not used this i only logged one thing yesterday but it basically like tells you certain things that you need to do on a vegan diet. Uber Eats and DoorDash I use for food delivery, shopping slash money. The first three apps in this folder are all credit and debit cards, not gonna go into those. And then PayPal and Venmo are money sharing apps, also not gonna go into those. Then we have Uber for getting around. Alta and Amazon are shopping apps because I like buying makeup from Alta and Amazon has everything. Receipt Hog is an app where you can scan your receipts and get money based on those. I have not been using it at all recently because I don't have any receipt. Depop is an app where you can buy clothes and jewelry and things that people make. I have never really bought anything off it, but I like to like look at what people are selling. Apartment Finder, I am currently looking for a new apartment. And then the last folder on my phone is YouTube slash video. The first app in here is YouTube Studio. It's a good app for creators to see their statistics, analytics, reply to comments, everything like that. So I use this from time to time. Then I have Magic Links. This is an affiliate link creator. So if I'm shopping from certain brands, I will link whatever I buy 
buy or show in a video and then if people buy that through my link then i make a small commission tubebuddy is another youtube analytics app i like to use it for the milestones and also for comments evernote is a note taking app where i plan out all of my videos i really like it because i think it's more organized than the standard note app on my phone Musi is an app where you can make music playlists now that i pay for a spotify subscription i don't use this but i still like to look back and see what i used to listen to netflix cbs are for shows don't really watch them that often but i have them tubi is an app where you can somehow watch movies that you would normally have to pay for for free i don't know how this is legal or if it is legal but i saw someone recommend this and it worked so i'm just gonna go with it and that is all for my phone i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like the video give it a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe down below and i'll see you next time peace out